Hello, I am Vishali. Today I am here with a new video. The video is on separable programming. So in this video, we will discuss thoroughly about the theoretical part of separable programming. If you are new to my channel, so please subscribe my channel and share my videos with your classmates. Okay. Today we will discuss about all the theoretical definitions inside the chapter separable programming and in my next video we will discuss about a numerical question based on separable programming concept. So first thing is you have to keep in your mind that the definition part of separable programming comes maximum of 5 marks but the numerical portion comes max to max for 15 to 20 marks okay. So now I'll show you which all topics I'll be going to discussing with you today separable functions, reducible to separable form, then separable programming problem, then convex programming, then separable convex programming problem. So these five topics we will discuss today with its definition and their example. Okay. Now let us start. I have written few statements in the dot that means different different definition. Separable programming deals with such non-linear programming problem in which the objective function as well as constraint are separable. First thing that you should know what is a non-linear programming problem as the separable programming problem chapter is totally based on the concept of NLPP. Okay, it is given that the objective function as well as constraint are NLPP in nature that means non-linear type in nature. Second point with that concept the objective function as well as constraint functions are separable in nature. Okay. Third thing is what is actually separable is separable term come from the word separate. What is separate when a big thing is divided into small small things they are called as a separate we can separate this thing. You know? Similarly, if we say a big function is divided into small, small linear functions, we can say that big function is a separable in nature. So that concept we'll be going to study today in separable function. Now definition of separable function. A function f, which is depending on the variable x1 till xn, is said to be separable if can be expressed as a sum of n single valued function. What are those n single valued function? f1 x1 f2 x2 so on f n x n similarly we can write it like this a big function f which is depending on n variables can be written as the linear function sum of the linear functions f1 x1 plus f2 x2 plus so on f n x n a big f is divided into small small linear functions and we have written them by the help of addition okay so big function is equals to the sum of the small linear functions okay and these linear functions are depending on the single values so that is the biggest concept in separable function okay and this is the definition of separable function you can say after this let's start with few examples so that it will clear your doubts your concept for example the linear function one is a separable function how you can say a function is a separable function let a function g which is demanding on the n values of x x1 x2 so on xn but we can write that big function into small functions small linear functions like c1 x1 c2 x2 so on cn xn but all are written with the help of the sum of those n linear functions okay now then the function is a separable function. For an example, second I am taking h bracket x1 x2 is equals to 3 x1 plus 2 x2. So here h is a big function can be written into form of the two linear functions. Sum of the two linear function one is 3 x1 and other is the 2 x2. Okay. Now taking the third example f bracket x1 x2 is equals to x1 minus 2 whole square plus x2 minus 2 whole square into 2. So here we have two terms okay written by the help of the addition sign. Now I'll so show you how you can open these terms and how you can write this function properly like x1 square plus 4 and then we can write minus 2 into 2 x1. So here we get two terms of x1 while one term of constant term. Similarly we can write the next term and then what we will do 
we will take all x1 terms together then x2 terms together and then constant together and then we can write this in a proper separable form so this we will study in detail in the reducible to separable form concept now moving to the next example the fourth one the function defined by g x1 x2 x3 equal to x1 cube plus x2 square cos bracket x1 plus x3 plus x3 into 3 to the power x2 plus log x1 plus x2 so this function if you see clearly this function is not a separable function why because we cannot write this function properly in the form of some of the linear functions okay so this type of functions are not separable functions so here we have completed the definition separable function and we'll be moving towards the reducible to separable form okay now reducible to separable form the function which are not directly separable but they can be made separable by the simple substitution now first i'll explain you the definition in the definition it is given that the function which you can see and which you can think that they are not separable in nature by seeing you cannot see you cannot judge that it is in a separable form but you can apply a simple substitution to make them separable such type of functions are called as reducible to separable form how now see the example maximize z is equals to x1 dot x2 okay they are in multiplication now if i'll write g let g is equals to x1 into x2 and i'll apply the log multiplication of log on both the side of left hand side and right hand side of the equation number one so i'll get log g equal to log x1 into x2 okay now log g if i'll multiply log g is like this log x1 into x2 so i can write log x1 into x2 in the form of log a plus b log of a plus log of b okay so log g will become log x1 plus log x2 this i termed as equation number 2 now equation 2 is clearly is a separable function it is assumed that x1 and x2 are both positive variable now we can say the equation 2 is a separable function as hum as we assume that x1 and x2 are both positive in nature because the logarithmic function is undefined for negative values okay so this type of function is a separable function in the nature now we discuss a new definition which is on separable programming problem so a given lpp in which the objective function that means a non linear type of programming problem is given to you and in that the objective function the given objective function can be written in the form of linear combinations of different single variable function so such type of given lpp is called as your separable programming problem it is an nlpp in the nature and it is separable so hence that given problem is called as the separable programming problem now we'll read its definition a nlpp in which objective function can be expressed as a linear combination of several different single variables variable functions of which some or all are non linear is called as a separable programming problem okay so this concept i told you many times moving to the next definition now next definition is convex programming it is given here non linear programming problem which has the problem of minimizing a convex objective function in the convex set of points is called as convex programming so convex programming is a given when a given problem is an nlpp type but its objective function is of minimization form but the objective function is minimizing in its given convex set of points it is satisfying the concept of convexity so that type of given problem is called as your convex programming okay if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it now now moving to the next definition it is separable convex programming problem so separable plus convex if we can add the concept of separable and convexity so we'll get a new definition which is called as separable convex programming problem now reading this in detail sometime it comes in exam of 5 marks a separable programming problem in which the separable functions are all convex can be defined as a separable convex programming problem with separable objective function it is given that when 
an NLPP is given to you, it is separable in nature, but its objective function when it is written in the form of sum of linear functions and all the linear functions is convex in nature. So such type of programming problem is separable convex programming problem. I'll explain you with the help of this example. If fx be the objective function, then fx for separable convex programming is can be written as now you know for separable function you have to write a big function into a small small linear functions. Okay, so fx is a big function. I am writing this objective function, a big objective function in the form of the small small functions like fx, fx equal to f1x1 plus f2x2 plus so on or these all are linear in nature. Okay, so fn, xn where these individual linear functions are all convex in nature. Okay, so f1, x1, f2, x2, f3, x3, so on, fn, xn, all these individual functions are convex in nature. So, such type of separable programming is called as a separable convex programming. Okay. Starting with an example, fx is a function which is equals to 7x1 square. Okay, this is the first term plus 2x2 square, the second term minus 5x1 plus 3x2. So now how I can write it in a linear functions? I'll just take x term all together, then x2 terms all together, then see what I'll get. After taking x1 together and x2 together, I'll get a new function, small function f1 x1, which is 7 x1 square minus 5 x1. x2 is 2 x2 square plus 3 x2. So now fx, I can write that fx in the linear sum of these two individual functions like fx is equal to f1 x1 plus x2 x2. And if I'll say this f1 x1 are convex in nature, so I'll say f1 x1 and f2 x2, that means if they are convex in nature, then the given function is also separable convex function. Okay. Now I can say fx, a big function, can be written in the two separable function, two linear functions and those functions are convex in nature. So finally, I hope you understand the concept of separable convex programming problem. So here I have explained you all the five definitions with their example. Okay, if the video is clear to you and you understand the concept of separable programming, so please subscribe my channel. And share these videos with your classmate. And in my next video, we will be surely discussing about a numerical problem. Good.